Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Basket Case by Green Day by special request. So let's take a look at it here. Now we have pretty much all power chords, um, a lot of fast downstrokes, uh, some palm muting going on, so it's kind of a workout for the picking hand. Uh, and we are tuned down a half step here, so make sure you tune your guitar all the strings down a half step. So that tuning is going to be an E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. All right, so let's start here with that opening, um, basically the beginning of the song. Uh, without the band, he's just, uh, Billy Joe Armstrong is playing this by himself with the vocals. So we're basically just going to be playing these power chords here. We'll talk about the, the technique of the rhythm in a second. So we're just going to play the power chord off the uh, seventh fret on the A string, then move it over to the seventh fret power chord off the low E. Then jump down to the 4th fret and on the A string power chord, so the A string uh, up on the 5th string, and then over once again to the 6th string. So we have this so far. Now staying on the 6th string power chord shape, we're going to move up 1 fret. Then we're going to move up to the 7th fret and back over to the A, I mean the A string power chord. And then move that back down to the 7 on the E. So all together, we have this. Alright, now let's get this rhythm going. You want to lay, for a lot, large part of the song, lightly touch the bridge right where the strings meet the bridge. Just lightly plant the side of your palm there. Okay, kind of the bottom uh, of your hand there. All right, so then you wanna, if you're lightly touching that, and then you're gonna do rapid downstrokes on just these strings. Strings. So just practice that straight rhythm like that on these chords. Try to keep that wrist nice and relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the looser it'll be, and the more it'll, uh, you know, more endurance it will have. So then all he's doing there to make the rhythm kind of vary as he goes, and he does it a little bit different every time, is he accents the notes. So we'll basically be doing this. You just practice it on one chord, and then start. And when he accents, you're gonna lift up the palm, so you get, the strings get to ring at full volume. So just kind of throw your hand out and your palm will come off. So then you take that rhythm and you know if you, if you know the song well enough you could probably mimic a lot of the, the feel of the rhythm. It's not accenting the same notes every time so it's just pretty much... All right, so that's pretty much the, the opening rhythm. He continues doing that for a, a little bit, and then we had this little transition thing that sounds like this. All right, so that's when the band came in, like kind of halfway through that. So we're just on the power chord shape again here on, um, now, by the way, he does these power chords a little bit differently sometimes live. Instead of playing, he'll play here, down here. So we're gonna talk about that too, because in the verse, he actually does that on the album. Um, but, um, you know, when the full band is in there. So let's take a look here. We're just gonna do this power chord at the fifth fret, on the sixth string. Move it up two frets, and then over to the fifth string. Repeat that.
I'm going to start it again. This time, when you get to the seventh, when you come back to the seventh fret on the A string, you're going to let the chords ring open. Hit it once, seven, move it down to five, and four. And then back, five on the low E, seven, and then it goes back to this E to start the next little riff. So, pretty much all together. All right, so you can see at the end when the that's when the band comes in and the the palm meeting stops. All right, and now we pretty much uh, have this little transition riff again. It sounds like this. All right, so that's just the power chords all on the A string. Here, seventh fret, then two, up to four, and back to two. Now you're gonna hear him sometimes get the B string in there because he's holding his power chords differently. So it's like you hear that note in there. So you might hear that note in there too, and he's catching that string every once in a while just because he really strums really hard. Uh, it's got a big swinging motion there. All right, now we have the uh, the verse chords uh, when the full band is playing, and it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so this is a, a low E power chord, just kind of thickening up the sound a little bit. Open E, bar across the second fret on the A and the D, and then you're gonna add the note B here on the uh, G string. Now with that shape, you can also hit the top two strings open. It's a huge sounding chord, so he'll do that. And then the power chord off the second fret on the A string. Then up two frets the fourth. Then once again we're gonna move over to the fourth on the low E. So far we had this. Alright, now we're back to the open A power chord. So that's open A string, second fret on the D and the G to get her. Back to that big E power chord. And you're gonna end it with the power chord to the second fret on the A string. So all together for the whole riff. All right, so just does that a few times and then we're back to the... All right, so I'm sure you know what part that is. All right, so and then it goes back through the chorus again, and then we have a little transition part. Uh, I'm not saying transition part again. It's just it doesn't. It's the only time this part happens. It's just two chords, and it builds back up to the chorus again. <laughs> All right, and then we're back. All right, so that's just the open A, just muting it, and then the. Open A power chord, and then the power chord off the second fret on the A string. And then we're back to the chorus. Now this chorus is kind of a combination of the chords we used before and um, in the verse with the bigger E power chords. That sounds like this. This is uh, the chorus, kind of the second to last chorus of the song, so it sounds like this. Again. So it's similar to the opening riff, you know, there's no palm muting here, so we're just big, you know, violent swings pretty much for the picking hand. E power chord, here's the seventh fret on the A string, over to the seventh on the low E. Same maneuver as before, fourth fret on the A, and then fourth over the low E. Now this is when it gets different, instead of doing this, we do this, the A power chord down here, 
the big E power chord we did earlier. And then that fat power chord on the second third of the A. So the last three chords are different there. All right, now the only thing we have to really talk about is the last chorus. Got a little melody line in there. Um, this is the one that's done without any vocals. And it sounds like this. Alright, so that's kind of fun. We're going to basically the 7th fret on the A string, the 6th fret on the D. Hit that a couple times, then move the D string up to the 7th fret. With long, you still get the 7th fret on the A going. Then we're basically going to do the same thing off this power chord off the 4th fret on the A string. So you're going to hold that 4th fret on the A, 6th fret on the D, and the same thing. Hit it a couple times, and then move that. 6th fret up to 7 on the D. And then just the same kind of ending before A power chord here, the 5th fret on the low E, over to 7th on the A, over to 7th on the low E. So you do that four times. So that fourth time there, <clears throat> we're going to stop here, just a little pause, and then the last three chords. So we just slid down the 6th string, then the A power chord, big E power chord, and the B power chord on the 2nd front of the A string. Alright, so a lot of the riffs are very similar, or kind of a slightly different way of playing the same chords. Um, but it's a lot of fun when you get it together, so uh, work out that picking hand and uh, let's see how you do. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.